things. They don't know that the earth orbits the sun. The average Democrat has got to be the stupidest person on the planet. Well, maybe they think they're smart because they've learned how to get uh, free money. And uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, these polls are, are really very, very revealing. And uh, they, they, these people who are coming in uh, are people who have no experience with our type of government. You've heard people say that we are an exceptional country. Uh, that word isn't even strong enough. America is unique. There's no other country that is built on the idea of limited government, as Thomas Jefferson said, bind them down from mischief with the chains of the Constitution. And we think they ought to keep their spending down and keep taxes low and so forth. And other countries don't, don't even understand that. They, they depend on the government for uh, <laughs> practically to walk across the street, whether they can or not. And uh, they, they don't know what we're talking about when we say we want a smaller government doing less. And uh, so when you bring in the people who want the government running things, who want the government uh, doing ha handouts, uh, you're going to get more Democratic votes. Why are you surprised? Well, you're certainly right. And America was hyper unique, hyper exceptional by every metric of inventions, trailblazing, military activity, just on every front, literature, art. We have been the flower of the Renaissance in the last uh, 230 plus years. And now we see all the prosperity going out the window as we follow the globalist collectivist program that always creates rack and ruin. Well, all of these trade agreements, uh, which are presented in the name of globalism and getting along in the world and free trade and all those slogans, uh, they create jobs and investment in other countries. They, they don't create them in this country. We lose jobs. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a real betrayal. This is why the middle class has been shrinking every year under the Obama administration. And uh, so uh, it, it's, it's just this new report that I have out. It's a 40-page 40, 40 report. And it's available on my website, uh, eagleform.org. And just to give you another example, one poll found that 81% of native-born Americans uh, believe our schools should teach that students should be proud to be American. But only 50%, only half of the immigrants, even after they're naturalized, believe that. And, you know, these, uh, these amnesty advocates like to uh, compare our current uh, immigration with what we were bringing in around 1920. And the people who came in from Western Europe in 1920 uh, all wanted to be uh, real Americans. I, I have any number of friends who told me when they came as a teenager and landed at Ellis Island in New York, uh, their mother or father would say, now we're in America, and we're going to be Americans, and we're going to speak English, and this is our country now. And that's not the way they feel about it today. Uh, the ones who are coming in seem to maintain their allegiance to their old, their own, their old country. And when you take the oath of citizenship, you're supposed to renounce all allegiance to any king, potentate, foreign government of any kind. And I don't know whether they recite all that, but it's obvious they don't believe it because the polls all show that uh, they're not proud to be an American. And uh, they uh, really don't believe in the type of government, of limited government, that made our country... Uh, the most prosperous and the freest country on the face of the earth. That's right. You can't argue with the cold, hard, scientific, sociological, geopolitical facts. Um, I want to go to break here and come back and get into some more of the poll numbers that are uh, on the site. For everybody that wants to go check them out, eagleforum.org, absolutely essential. Phyllis Shafley is our guest right now. And when we come back, I'm going to let her continue to get into the battle. What's happening currently on Capitol Hill? Uh, tireless fighter. I guess it's more than 60 years she's been battling. Uh, 89 years old and joining us today, as sharp as ever. She's the same age as my grandmother. Uh, and is battling the tyrants here today. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it again. Nobody's got open borders like we do. Nobody brings in foreigners and throws them right on welfare. Nobody. Nobody. It is simply insane. It is simply insane.
Uh, our hospitality has been used by the globalists to bring in a foreign force of politicos. We'll be right back. I'm Alex Jones. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. The challenge, creating delicious GMO-free foods with a 25-year shelf life. The solution, Numana Foods, a pioneer in healthy, storable foods. Our meals are GMO and gluten-free, contain no MSG aspartame or high fructose corn syrup, and we never use chemicals or preservatives. Just good, healthy food at great prices. Call us today at 888-597-0775 or visit GMOFreeFoodStorage.com. That's GMOFreeFoodStorage.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. The number one secret to having great health and long life is having high levels of glutathione. This master antioxidant is required by your body to stop free radicals, keep cells young, remove chemical and heavy metal toxins, support immunity, support liver functions, stop inflammation, and much more. The results of optimal levels of glutathione in your body are more mental and physical energy, stronger immune system, greater endurance, and more. Do you know the number one secret superfood that helps increase your glutathione levels up to 64 percent or more it's unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows this health food is amazing in its ability to do so much for virtually everyone introducing one world way an industry first unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows call 888-988-3325 that's 888-988-3325 or visit oneworldway.com that's one world w-h-e-y.com Alex Jones here back live. Phyllis Shafley, by the way, is a constitutional lawyer. And, of course, a uh, mother who had, I think it's what, six children. And she's had a whole bunch of best-selling books. We're going to talk about her newest bestseller, where Obama is waging war on the First Amendment, and not just the others. Uh, religious freedom is within the First Amendment. We're going to talk to her about that in the next segment. In the short one, though, uh, Phyllis, please, because you're, you're pausing and letting me jump in. I want you to roll here, uh, because you've got all the deep data and the research Break down what it means if they get this next crop of illegals legalized. Obviously, then the next group, the next, we're in total checkmate 
politically because uh, because these folks are voting in a collectivist um, manner. And I've tried to reach out to the quote immigrant population with some success, but we just can't reach enough of them. Uh, a, is there any way to turn this around? B, how do we beat it? And what's going on in Washington? Thank goodness for talk radio because the mainstream media is, uh, is concealing the whole thing. And there are two powerful lobbying groups that are pushing for more uh, more illegal and legal immigration. And uh, they are the big business crowd who want the cheap labor, and then, of course, the Democrats who want the vote. And my report, which is now available on eagleforum.org, it's 40 pages, there's a lot of uh, st uh, statistical stuff. Uh, if you want uh, the abbreviated uh, every man's version, you can ask for my Phyllis Schlafly report called Does the Republican Party Have a Future? But in any event, what these polls consistently show is that three-fourths of the Hispanics coming in want a bigger government providing more services. I'm talking about services uh, like uh, health care, Obamacare, and only a tiny percentage uh, even understand or want a smaller government. And you know that if, uh, if we want to leave a country of freedom and prosperity to our children and grandchildren, we've got to cut down the size of government, stop these executive actions that Obama is taking on his own, which he is un doing unilaterally and says he can do whatever he wants with his pen. And uh, we have to realize that these people coming in, uh, the overwhelming majority of them want the government providing big services, and which is, of course, very uh, costly in every way. Expanding on that, look at what a monumental fraud and a deception Obamacare is. Everything that's being pushed is really bad for the overall population, bad for common sense, bad for fairness. But still, people that are part of the Democratic Party cult uh, just don't care. They, they just think they've won. And then you've got the people like Boehner and others that uh, are bought off by the same interest. I mean, what do we do about this? Well, the facts are so overwhelming. For example, the Congressional Budget Office, which certainly is not a right-wing source, said that Obamacare is going to cost us uh, over two million jobs. And uh, mostly by companies reducing the number of hours that their employees can work. And the Obama administration p tried to put a happy face on this by saying, oh, that's great. People will have more free time. They'll be able to do more fun things that they want to do when they're not working. Well, that's not the way you get ahead. And that's not the way you support your family. Uh, we, we believe in, in work and full-time work, and we hope guys will have a good job full-time that's going to be able to support his family. But that isn't what Obama wants. He wants to cut the amount of work people are doing, so they're working less hours, getting less money, and then they have their uh, insurance uh, paid for by the taxpayers. It's all so rotten, Alex, I, uh, it, and, it, and the high-handed dictatorial way that Obama's doing it is amazing. But these polls are very compelling in showing uh, this is what the people think about this. And, and they're not voting for amnesty. They're voting for handouts by the government. And they get that by voting Democratic. And then they'll support literally making those of us that produce their slaves. And then George Soros and Warren Buffett, big con constituents of the Democrats and big um, recipients of, 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 of corporate welfare, and, they, and then they write the laws to be exempt from the taxes. They're lobbying to raise taxes on the middle class. This takes us back to a democracy where two wolves can vote to eat the sheep for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would be a, a joke if it weren't so really tragic, uh, the, the way they uh, the way are manipulating the people and making them think that the government is the, the source of, of goodness and money and... And the number of people who are now on food stamps, uh, the number of people who get housing supplements, the EITC, the Earned Income Tax Credit that just uh, gives you a bigger tax free refund than you were entitled to otherwise. Fellas, I've got to interrupt you. Stay right there. One more segment with you, Fellas Shafley, eagleforum.org, to read all the reports.
We're going to come right back to you. I want to finish up with those numbers. Then I want to get into the overall unitary executive with your new books about. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire.